In this video, I want to take you to all the camps that are going to have crops growing outside. The first is this barbarian barrack. This is the first location that you're going to come across that have crops growing outside. But there's a lot of barbarian barracks that have these crops, so you can get those easily. When you harvest the crops, not only do you get the crop, but you will also sometimes get seeds. So for things like tobacco, you need to harvest the crop or get the seed in order to plant it. There is no way to take the leaf leaves and turn them into seeds in game. When you're raiding the barbarian barracks, you want to make sure that if they light the campfire, you put that out immediately. You can attack it with any weapon in order to destroy it. If you do not put that out or destroy it before they light it, it's likely that when they light it, you will have more enemies come to help defend this area. You should also know that not all barbarian barracks have crops. Only some of them have crops. The barbarian barracks that have the mines connected to them, like the copper mine, are not going to have plants like you can get here. And the plants vary from location to location, and also they can vary in what has spawned in at that point in time. So right now I'm getting pumpkins and chilies. There's also potatoes, cotton, corn, and tomatoes that can grow at this location. There are crops on both sides of this entrance, so make sure you check both sides in order to see what all grows here. Once you have the crops and the seeds, you can go back to your base and start planting at level 10. You can plant the seeds in the farm plot yourself at level 10 but in order to automate it you need the granary and the granary is unlocked at level 25. But some of the plants that you harvest are not just for food like the cotton is for a lot of your armor and then when you find cashews that is for some of your better healing items. And I am going through these in the order that I recommend doing them per your level. So the second place is going to be this barbarian barrack down here. It also has a salt pan if that's something you need you can clear the barrack. The salt is on the other side of this barrack. You get the salt on one side and then the plants on the other side. The things that I found in this location are papaya, guava, corn, cashew, cotton, quinoa, and cocoa. For those of you that have been looking for quinoa, this is probably the earliest place that you're going to find a lot of quinoa growing that you could actually get to and obtain those items without dying early game. Even further down south and west of the last location, you're going to find the Barbarian Barrack for the Fang Tribe. This is near the Hill Portal, so I highly recommend unlocking that Hill Portal when you come down here. Now, I've already cleared out the enemies here because in order to get down to this farm, it is quite a trek. It is almost to the bosses, and you will need to fight your way all the way in here. That's why this is next on the list. This is the first location where the farmlands are actually inside the barrack. We have to go all the way down to the water at the bottom of them. And in fact, the rest of the locations that I'm going to show you, the farm plots are inside the barracks, but they have really good items that you're going to want to come in here and get. This is the last location that I'm going to say you could do in bronze armor. The following locations are going to require some pretty hefty armor, so I recommend being in at least iron armor at that point in time. But we found guava, papaya, some tobacco here as well, and then aloe in this area. Additionally, you should be checking the chests in these areas for some more uncommon kinds of plants, like we find peanuts in this chest. The following location is actually a barbarian fortress, and this is going to have level 50 flint tribe barbarians. So I don't recommend coming up here and trying to do this area before you're in iron armor. You should get into iron armor before you come up to this area. You can see the one archer that I left alive is shooting me, and it is doing a ton of damage, even though I'm in legendary saber tooth armor. We have potatoes here, we also have peanuts here, and more peanuts over there, and pumpkins as well. There is also some quinoa there, and some agave as well. And then on the next level up from here, there is more farms. So there is a lot of farm area in this location. This spot is closest to the wetlands portal, so make sure you're getting that so you can travel here quickly. I do enjoy getting the tribesmen from this location. A lot of them have really good perks. So once you're at this level, it's good to come up here, get these plants, and also check out the tribespeople that are here. 
As I was headed up to the other farm plots, I realized I left some enemies up here. I just want to show you a little bit of that combat. You can see how much damage I'm doing to these enemies, and I am using the iron weapons, and I'm in iron gear. So you want to be in at least iron before coming up here, or you're going to have a really hard time getting through this location. After battling some to get up to the next location, just up the stairs from the last farm plots, we have potatoes, guava, papaya, and corn in this area. The next location that I'm going to take you to is another barbarian fortress. This is the Fang Tribe Barbarian Fortress, and it is all the way up in the desert area on the right-hand side of the desert. This is a very dangerous area full of level 50 Claw Tribe warriors, and you want to make sure that you're in at least legendary iron armor when you come up here. As we get up to the top here, you can see we have tobacco right off the bat. That is the tobacco plant. And then it looks like we have some papayas or guavas, some potatoes, and some agave. In addition to fighting the enemies that are in here, you're also battling radiation. And if you come up here in the middle of the night, it is going to be extremely cold. So you want to put armor mods on your armor for radiation resistance. And then you want to have chill mods in case you're up here at night as well. I recommend drinking alcohol so that you can slow the speed of morale loss in this area. And additionally, if you have access to honey at this point in time, eating honey will reduce your radiation poisoning. If you're looking for bananas or pineapples, those are found in monkey stumps. If you are looking for herba mate, you can find those along with the bananas and pineapples in the scout camps. So the scout camps that are on this side of the river, away from the starter area, like this area here, will have herba mate and some of those other higher level resources. We also found tobacco seeds in that scout camp. If you're looking for aloe, it actually grows all over the place in the starting area. And it's really hard to see if you have your foliage turned up all the way. You can see that we actually have some aloe right here, as well as on this rock. It grows all over the place, but like I said, it's really hard to see. So until you know what it looks like, I recommend changing your foliage setting all the way down to very low. When you have it set at very low, only things that are harvestable are going to show. And that makes the aloe very easy to see. And then you can just harvest it with your sickle. I'd like to thank all my YouTube members for your continued support. Y'all are absolute legends. Don't be out of whack. There's another video on the screen right now that you can watch to support more of my content.